North Korean ambassador to Malaysia has been summoned back to Pyongyang. He is the nephew of the recently ousted high-ranking official Jang Song-tek. Lockheed Martin held a briefing session for Korean media following its successful bid to supply F-35 fighter jets. And the Lighting American Museum goers, a U.S. ceramics museum, is hosting a special exhibition on Korean ceramics. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Thursday, December 5th. I'm Luke Clary. New developments since the NIS reported the ouster of high-ranking politician Jang song Tech, his nephew, the ambassador to Malaysia, and his family were summoned on December 3rd. This is the apartment of North Korean ambassador to Malaysia, Chang yong chol who is also Chang song Tech's nephew. Chang has been found to have been absent from his home since December 1st. All the household goods from his apartment were shipped away on December 3rd in a truck, while his wife and two sons have not been seen since then either. Chang's family was apparently sent back to the north at Pyongyang's order. Chang song tae has been found to have been absent from his home since December 1st, while his wife and two sons have not been seen since then either. Furthermore, sources are saying that Chang's brother-in-law, Chun Yong-jin, the North Korean ambassador to Cuba, was also summoned. The government claims there must be a massive purge taking place inside the Stalinist state. Such punitive measures against Chang's relatives and acquaintances are presumed to have nothing to do with frictions with the North's top military official, Choi ryong hae Seoul believes that Chang's ousting is not just a rumor. Defense Minister Kim Guan Jin says North Korea has recently been readjusting its hierarchy of power. The South Korean government has decided to prepare for any possible changes in the North's political landscape in case more signs of instability appear. Korea is once again blanketed by heavy smog originating from China. The haze is particularly harmful as it is laden with heavy metals like arsenic and lead. Low overnight temperatures have caused the fog to thicken. Due to the heavy fog, the visibility in the coastal and inland areas along the Yellow Sea fell below 100 meters this morning. The fog thickens at night due to the combination of the warm air and cool ground, and then the haze lightens up when the temperatures go up during the day. Korea is currently seeing a string of foggy days because this process is repeated daily. Worsening the situation is the smog coming in from China. An increased amount of fine particles in the fog droplets causes more droplets to cluster together and ends up thickening the mist. The amount of fine particulates in the air has been up since yesterday. In Seoul, the level of superfine particulates, which can penetrate deep into the lungs, was triple the World Health Organization standard. The city of Seoul therefore issued a preliminary superfine particulate warning. The fine dust in the air tends to increase when the warm winter weather generates mist. The elderly and people with pulmonary problems are advised to stay home on foggy days. Furthermore, even healthy people are advised against working out during the morning and evening hours when the air has a higher level of fine particulates. The headquarters of the Green Climate Fund opened for operation yesterday in the new business city of Songdo, which is south of Incheon. The GCF will serve as an important source of funding for environmental initiatives. The Green Climate Fund is like the World Bank of the environmental sector. It's designed to launch joint responses against climate change. Its first goal is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in developing countries. It therefore aims to collect 100 billion U.S. dollars over the next seven years to fund its project. Now is the time to act to provide the funding that will keep climate change at bay. The president of the World Bank and 400 other notable figures came to the GCF launching ceremony in Songdo. Their top concern was over how to acquire the funding. President Park Geun-hye pledged to provide $40 million to the fund and urged other countries to make contributions as well. Although the head of the International Monetary Fund was absent because of a flight delay, the chiefs of major global organizations discussed this important issue. There will be enormous demand for ways of fighting climate change, providing clean energy. 
see into the future and make the kinds of investments that will lead to future economic growth. Since the opening of the GCF headquarters in Songdo, Korea will be able to host about 120 international meetings each year. The World Bank has also opened an office in Songdo, Korea, which is expected to bring enormous future economic benefits. Defense contractor Lockheed Martin held a briefing session for Korean media following its successful bid to supply the South Korean Air Force with F-35 fighter jets. F-35 fighter jets are known for their outstanding stealth functions and excellent electronic warfare capabilities. They were selected as the next generation jets for the South Korean Air Force. Their manufacturer, Lockheed Martin Corporation, recently held a briefing session for local journalists. The corporation said that the jets would be repaired in Korea. This comes in response to the rising controversy over the technological transfer. We uh, understand what it takes to design those type of airplanes and uh, are, are ready to transfer the technology and the expertise. On the expensive prices of the jets, Lockheed Martin said that the prices go down every year and that the Korean government will receive partial refunds for the jets it had purchased earlier. With regard to the rumors that the Korean government could also purchase F-15 Silent Eagle jets from Boeing, Lockheed Martin compared its products to those of Boeing. Lockheed Martin emphasized the outstanding stealth functions of its jets, which can deeply penetrate the enemy lines despite their relatively weak aerial bombing ability. However, with regard to the transfer of the stealth technologies, Lockheed Martin didn't comment much due to the U.S. government's tight control over the matter. Last month, the Joint Chiefs of Staff announced its plans to first buy 40 next-generation fighter jets for 7.8 billion U.S. dollars, and then 20 more jets later, according to the circumstances. The F-35 jets will be adopted in Korea in stages over the course of four years, starting in 2018. Owing to the tough economy, three out of ten Koreans have no savings for retirement. In spite of this, the majority of older Koreans say that they do not want to move in with their adult children. Lee ki takes care of her grandchildren while her daughter is at work. Her daughter and son-in-law offered her to live with them, but Yi refused. Like E, more than 70% of those 60 and older say they don't want to live with their children. However, this doesn't mean that they are financially ready to live on their own. Three out of ten adults in the nation are not preparing for life after retirement. Half of them cited a lack of financial resources. Among those who are 60 and older, 6 out of 10 said they had no money to save up for the future. Meanwhile, nearly 90% of people in their 30s and 40s were found to be preparing for life after retirement. The most widespread means of preparing for this is turning out to be the national pension, followed by savings and private pension funds. An American ceramics museum is hosting a special exhibition on Korean ceramics. Some 400 traditional pieces are delighting American audiences with their beauty and elegance. Master ceramic artists from Ichon, the capital of Korean ceramics with centuries-old history, are showing Americans how they create beautiful pieces. Curious visitors marvel as a lump of clay is turned into a shapely creation in the hands of these skillful artists. Pottery, how it's executed and what type of materials they use, and also the fact that they do carry on the tradition, um, which is, I think, fantastic. Some 400 pieces of celadon, white and buncheong ceramics submitted by 20 ceramic artists are on display at a special exhibition titled Ichon, Reviving the Korean Ceramics Tradition. Tens of thousands have paid to see the display and students of around 100 schools came for field trips. A documentary film on America's admiration of Korean ceramic art is in the making in Hollywood. This effort will further widen American people's understanding of the long history of Korean ceramics and its subtle beauty. 
Korean researchers have developed a new technology that allows people to use and maintain home appliances with ease using their smartphones, even outside the home. With just a touch of an icon on your smartphone, you can get a hot, fresh cup of coffee. Remote-controlled coffee machines can make a variety of drinks, from espressos to cafe lattes. This is another type of innovative technology. By taking photo of the QR code with a smartphone, people can easily maintain home appliances with automatically installed smartphone applications. Unlike former installation methods that require you to go through several steps according to the manufacturer's website, the built-in Wi-Fi chip automatically installs the application when you take a photo of the QR code. This new technology can be used for various purposes, such as remote-controlling energy-guzzling appliances outside your home to save energy. QR code만 활용함으로써 별도의 칩 없이 제조 단가를 절감할 수 있는 효과가 있고요. 소비자 입장에서는 그 젊은 자식이 부모님께 스마트 가전을 선물하고 원격에서 그걸 본인 쓰기 좋게 제어해 주는. The research team has already applied for 50 patents. Furthermore, it is seeking to set the new tech as an international standard. In entertainment, Korean supergroup Big Bang's G-Dragon is enjoying huge success in Japan, while JYJ's Kim Jun soo sold out his solo year-end concert in minutes. G-Dragon of Korean boy band Big Bang released a solo album entitled Coup d'etat in Japan late last month. The album has come in at second place on Japan's Oricon weekly music chart. More than 100,000 copies of the albums were sold between November 27th and December 1st. Meanwhile, Big Bang will hold a concert in Fukuoka on Saturday as part of its concert tour in Japan. Kim jun Su of boy band JYJ will hold a solo year-end concert late this month. Tickets for Kim were sold out only 15 minutes after they were put up for sale. His agency says 150,000 people tried to buy tickets, but only 13,000 tickets were available. Yuna of girl group Girls' Generation will star in a new KBS drama. The singer will appear as an entertainment reporter in the KBS TV series Prime Minister and Me, which will begin next week. In the romantic show, she falls in love with the nation's youngest ever prime minister. Yuna vowed to do her best to play the role perfectly. Marketing and advertising batter consumers from all directions. However, few people ever really stop to think about the subconscious marketing practices that get them to open up their wallets. Large supermarket chains are constantly devising new and improved marketing strategies to survive economic downturns. Few consumers truly recognize the depth and scope of marketing techniques. The first of these secrets is found in shopping cart design. Large supermarkets provide wire-framed, see-through carts. This actually helps them boost their sales. When consumers see other people's carts filled with products, they subconsciously start feeling the urge to fill up their own carts as well. In fact, many people buy the same products they find in other people's carts. Another marketing secret lies in lowering prices in times of high inflation. Prices ending with the number 9 are widely used to catch consumers' eyes. This technique creates the impression of lower prices. While the difference is just 10 cents or less, there's a big psychological effect. Department stores devise their own strategies to keep customers in stores longer and buy their products. Apparel store fitting rooms have a marketing secret as well. There are no mirrors inside. This is done to prevent customers from making purchasing decisions on their own. Sales clerks have a higher chance of persuading customers to buy a certain outfit when they compliment them in person. And the customer has to come out to see how they look. 혼자서 봤을 때는 이제 좀 헷갈리는데 직원분이 옆에서 잘 어울린다고 해주시니까 좀 혹해서 구매 충동이 좀 많이 생겨서 구매를 하는 것 같아요. 
Displaying products effectively is also crucial for maximizing sales. Lighting is one of the most important aspects as it makes merchandise look more attractive, raising the chances of it being sold. Retailers are employing other unique lighting techniques. In the food court of this department store, you can easily spot women taking photos instead of eating. This place lures female customers with special lighting. 여기 되게 잘 나와요. 그래서 제 SNS에다가 올리면 친구들이 다들 물어보더라고요. 어디서 찍었냐고. Lighting installed in food courts and bathrooms of this department store have been very effective in attracting women. 일명 셀카 조두라고 해서 셀카 가장 잘 나올 수 있도록 조두를 설정해 놨습니다. 이 고객이 셀카 사진을 호스팅함으로써 자연스럽게 고객이 어, 자발적으로 입소문을 내준 효과를 거둘 수 있었습니다. 기업은 하나의 전쟁터이기 때문에요. 24시간 내내 그쪽을 생각하기 때문에 항상 기발한 방식이 생각된다고 생각합니다. Retailers continue to develop ingenious ideas to capture the hearts of their customers as well as their cash. And now we'll take a look at the markets followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. We'll see you at the same time tomorrow. Have a great day.